happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the vlog. I uh, am excited to be vlogging this week because we have some exciting things this week. This is gonna be um, kind of like a wellness themed week in my life. Um, it is Wednesday, so I'm starting it like a little bit late, but I only like to do like a few days in my life because I feel like it gets kind of repetitive after a while. Like I do basically the same thing every day. So anyway, this morning I um, started adding a new practice to my morning routines, which is meditation. And I have always been somebody who has sometimes meditated, sometimes not meditated. And right now I feel like I'm in a really good mental headspace and I feel like that is the best time to start incorporating more wellness practices into your life but not when you're in a more of like an acute like unwell you know crisis type stage obviously but yeah so you're there are lots of apps and stuff to meditate but I personally just like I don't like to hear anybody talking when I'm meditating I just want to be like present and there in the moment so maybe I'll talk you guys through a little meditation at some point in this vlog and then this morning I'm taking my Copa Calm I've been taking this consistently twice a day for the past probably almost month and the difference this makes in my overall anxiety level is just crazy I feel like if you could measure anxiety on a graph me a month ago versus me this week and last week um, since having this really like in my system is just astonishing I feel so much better I don't know why I ever stopped taking that product it has GABA and L-theanine in it which support um, your endocrine health and can support anxiety levels and then also something that I like to do fun I'm just like rambling everything that I like to do for wellness <laughs> at the start of this video but anyway I'm just trying to get in a lot before I start my work day but something I like to do is once a week I will get either a matcha outside of my house or a coffee I typically drink matcha in the morning and that was a big switch that I made in April of this year to cutting out coffee and I really cut out coffee completely I had like a food aversion to it and now coffee has been tasting kind of good to me sometimes but I will be honest it has to be kind of sweet coffee so um, or like a cold brew like I can drink a cold brew but like a coffee that I make at my house I, I can't I can't drink it I've tried multiple times so I just got a pumpkin spice latte with oat milk no whip and like half the pumps of pumpkin spice this morning it's my first pumpkin spice latte of the season oh that's good okay yeah that's really good I really enjoy that and we are just headed to work on Wednesdays we always have a morning meeting so I'm trying to make it there at a decent time today it's 8 12 I usually get there about 8 15 they usually start around 8 15 so I'm totally fine and then we'll head over to my other office I see patients at another office on Wednesdays and Thursdays and kind of hope for a good day I'm gonna work out in you guys know the drill but welcome back to the vlog some exciting things coming up in the next couple of days on Friday I have something exciting to share with you guys so I'm just excited to spend a few days with you guys I'm on my way back from from the gym I just had a really good workout I'm eating some leftover Patsy U that I made last night that has Patsy U tofu and this like veggie I don't know veggie steak and broccoli in it it's really good um, I got it from Hungry Root I'll tell you guys a little bit about that later not sponsored or anything but I just don't have time right now I'm sitting at a stoplight or I'm listening to this podcast called um, the Skinny Confidential Him and Hurt podcast that I listen to occasionally and they have Gary Vee on and I just really love his stuff I feel like he has a great mindset so I just wanted to recommend that to you guys work day is over I'm actually getting ready to run into home goods I have a few errands I want to run this evening because we have not officially finished our kitchen that's a whole other thing um 
I'd have to turn my car back on because it's too hot for me to tell you that everything about the kitchen but because Labor Day is coming up this weekend there are some sales going on with like some of my favorite furniture stores and I want to get a new dresser and kind of and I do want to get a new bed and like some new nightstands and like revive our bedroom because we've had our pieces for like six years now and I'm over them so anyway I want to make sure that there's nothing cheaper available at like home goods or Target before I spend the money at a place like West Elm or Crate and Barrel. So I'm gonna run into Home Goods and kind of look at their what they have. I brought the dog some toys. <laughs> hey, 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 calm down from Home Goods. Oh, this is such good boys. I gotta take this tag off. I got this ball for you, Tinkaroo. Who <laughs> Oh my gosh. Cookie, and I got you a baby. I got you a baby. It's a big one. Look how big that baby is. The girl loves babies. We call, we call them babies, but they're really just stuffed animals. <laughs> Did you get a big ball? Oh my goodness. And then I just got them a tug toy. World Market was such a bust. They had some really cute mirrors that I think I got some clips of, but I just got home. I am, I just have to tell you guys about this because it's so freaking good. This Belly, Belly Welly probiotic snack. It's a chocolate chip cookie. It is so good. It's gluten free. It has some fiber in it. It's low FODMAP. I love the FODMAP diet for anybody who has like IBS or anything like that. And I mean, yeah. Anyway, it just tastes really good. I wanted to talk to you guys about the kitchen really quickly. As you can tell, the kitchen is mostly done. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last vlog. I might have. These are black handles. You probably can't see from the lighting, but this is gold. My kitchen sink is gold. Therefore, I do want all everything to be gold. And I think there was a little bit of miscommunication. And they're supposed to come back and change them out. It's just taking them forever to do it. I made the mistake of making the final payment. Honestly, I'm never going with these contractors again. I'm not happy. I'm happy with the work, but I'm not happy with how long it took. I'm not happy with the communication. It just hasn't been the best experience. So we're gonna redo our bathroom soon. And when that happens, I will definitely be going with another contractor. Anyway, Seth is actually coming back from Orlando this afternoon and he's bringing me my favorite little vegan what is it called? Like an egg and cheese biscuit, essentially. It's from this place in Orlando. If you live there, you should totally go. It's called Winter Park Biscuit Company, and it's all vegan. Their food is so good. But he's bringing me back that for dinner, so I don't have to make dinner tonight. And it looks like it's about to storm. Like, it's really, it's about to be a super cozy night. I suspect there's something besides. Can I call them this French fry? Hmm? One of them was mine. It's a little much. You got some chicken tenders? Yeah, they're pretty good, actually. Are they? It's, it's just kind of greasy. Like, I don't want to eat them all. Mm. Chicken tenders, biscuit, and fries? Yeah. That's like a little box thing they do. I'm like, I'll try it. Mm. My God. How are you, honey? You okay? Good. I'm just tired. It was a long drive. milk and pour over my matcha it's so good i kind of want to make a cherry vanilla syrup next because i saw like the nitro bar if you guys are on tiktok the nitro bar is super popular they made like a cherry vanilla latte and it looks incredible but anyway today is my last day of work at primary care office this week uh, and tomorrow i'm actually going to be i'm actually going to be spending tomorrow and saturday at um, 
a med spa doing Botox and filler and seeing if I would like to take this next position that I talked to you guys about in the last vlog of potentially being a part-time injector there. So I'm gonna be spending tomorrow there and then just a little part of Saturday there. So that's fun. I also just started my period this morning. So I have cramps like really bad on my first day. Like my uterus, I swear every month gets madder and madder at me for not giving it a baby. And um, so I just took some ibuprofen on an empty stomach because if I take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen first thing in the morning and just kind of like continue it throughout the first day, I'm totally fine. But if I wait and don't take it, I'm like nauseous. I want to throw up and the pain is so bad. So anyway, that is so good. I'm going to sit outside. That's something that I like to do every morning is get outside for like 10 to 15 minutes i do my five minute journal when i'm sitting outside i do my devotional and then i've just been recently incorporating about five to seven minutes of meditation in and it's been really helping with my mental health um those things my copa calm right now are just like really like my mental health feels in a really good space this is the outfit of the day today i have been very much back on my sweaters with my um scrub bottoms and then i got these new new balances which are super cute and really comfortable as well um just did my hair a little bit literally took me 10 minutes this sweater is from um american eagle actually my figs high-waisted livingstons and new balances last day of work for the week let's go bird hi oh my goodness my beautiful baby fast forward a couple of hours actually finished a little bit earlier i'm not completely done i actually have some televisits to do hey stink actually, i actually have some televisits to do um this evening but my front desk is sick she was feeling really bad so it's like go home because the front desk at the other office can get my televisits ready and I'll just do those at home. So I have a televisit scheduled for six and 6.15, it's currently 5.30. And then I have a video that I need to film and get to um, the people I'm working with. But I actually wanted to tell you about that product, not because this video is sponsored, but because the product is incredible and I want you guys to have access to it and to know about it. I brought it in my work bag this is literally the best product the best book that you could bring if you want to be prepared for nurse practitioner clinicals where is the book okay <laughs> if you want to know what you're talking about if you want your preceptor to be impressed by you if you want to feel like you know your stuff this book i have to turn on the lights to show you even though it's gonna kill the vibe but it is the np pocket guide i wish i would have created this book myself this is incredible. Maddie is the girl who created it. I think she goes by Maddie or Madeline. And it has everything that you can need. It has a GAD scale, it has a PHQ scale, it has a bipolar scoring scale, and it has QR codes for if you, if you wanna access it and print it off at work, autism scaling for your MCHAT, your mini COG, so that's your normal stuff. And then it has an overview of the vaccinations that are needed and when they are needed. This is literally incredible. It has guidelines on when to treat blood pressure. These are all, this is all the type of stuff that I try to drill into students' head that students come to me not knowing, which is actually crazy. They should know this stuff, but this is, this is beautiful. This is literally like incredible. It has recommendations for depression, what to do, when to do it, what are first line medications, it has asthma guidelines, it has the COPD guidelines, how to treat, incredible. It has some men's and women's health stuff, how to treat like trick, gonorrhea, chlamydia. She even has it updated to chlamydia, the recommended treatment used to be azithromycin, but now it's doxycycline. She's on top of it. And then it has um, your your well child visit so what your kids should be doing at what age which if you're a nurse practitioner school and you are taking pediatrics like you're doing a family np you know that this is the most overwhelming part of peds is learning the developmental milestones she's got it in here she's got the vitamin d recommendations like 
I am thoroughly impressed. I can't wait to promote this product on my TikTok. Like I said, I wish I had created this myself. She has pictures of types of dermatitis, how to treat them, Lyme disease, like girl has it together, psoriasis, varicella. She even has um, like things to look out for in migraines. I believe she might have some um, preventative treatment for migraines. Yeah, she has like first line treatment. Does she have? She doesn't have preventative treatment for migraines, but you should look it up. <laughs> she has the types of conjunctivitis, allergic bacterial, and um, viral. She has like, what are your guidelines for acute otitis media versus otitis externa? When to consider something is a bacterial sinus infection over a viral infection? Like this is literally gold. Oh, even in the end, she has, she has like your major signs. She has your resistance, uh, sorry, she has your gram positive, gram negative for bacteria. She is literally like, she hit the nail on the head with this. She, and then she has some really common billing codes just in case you might need them. This book is literally what you need if you're gonna start in peace school clinicals, if you are in nurse practitioner school and you haven't even started clinicals and you wanna be ahead of the game, get this book, look through it. It's so simple. Like I, you can literally just keep this in your bag. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna link to her shop. She has an Etsy shop um, in the description below if you wanna support her, which you should. This is literally an amazing product. So anyway, I'm gonna film her a little TikTok and send it to her make sure it's all good to go to be filmed tomorrow. And then we're gonna make some dinner, hang out, relax. It's storming outside right now. So we're getting in like the cozy vibe for the evening. Filming is finished. Just have my setup. I usually write out a little kind of script that I honestly don't go off of most of the time but it's a nice reference point put this stuff away i'm hungry so we're gonna cook some dinner seth is actually out of town again tonight um he is at like a recruiter thing so it's just me again tonight with the boys but i don't know what i'm gonna make for dinner i don't know if i told you guys but one of my students got me the coolest like gift for being her preceptor she gave me like a gift card to a meal service called hungry roots and it's basically it's kind of like the idea of green chef or what's that other one that's super popular i can't remember it um but where they like send you meals fresh not fresh kitchen it's something with a kitchen but anyway same idea except for they send you like you can pick whether you're pescatarian vegetarian vegan or like a regular keto and so obviously i picked vegan and then they'll send you meals and they'll send you all the ingredients for the meals but you can pick if you like to cook if you don't like to cook or if you like to cook a little bit and they'll send you like all of those types of ingredients so i got a bunch of food for this week with that gift card that she gave me which was so nice but i wasn't realizing that my husband wasn't going to be here this week so i have way too much food like way too much food but anyway it's been really fun and i think tonight i don't know what i'm gonna make tonight i think like pitas was on there or some type of falafel which that sounds really good also i got a package today from jerv avenue hey baby this is my first product from jerv avenue but as we are going into the cooler fall months even though we're quite far away from that here in florida i really wanted like a cute robe you know when you post on TikTok, like it's cute, aesthetic. So I caved and I got um, the cutest fruit robe from Dirt Avenue. Like, are you kidding me? Look how pretty this is. I love it. I will say it's not as soft as I thought it was going to be. Like when you're looking at it online, it looks like it's going to be so soft. It feels like towel material. Um, like they made it from towel material, which is good because it's a robe. <laughs> and also I think that the material is kind of like good because you wouldn't get too hot in it. Yeah, like it's not super fluffy, kind of like I thought it was gonna be, which is totally fine. I actually think I could wear this right now because it's not too hot. But how freaking cute. I just think like the fruit is so cute so anyway i didn't think it was too expensive for like a nice robe it was 130 dollars which is pretty typical of nice robes so 
I got that and I'm really excited to wear it tomorrow. Or tonight after I take a shower. I'm either between this Korean barbecue seitan rainbow bowls or the hummus. The hummus sounds really good to me, or sorry, not the hummus, the pita sounds really good to me because I want some pickled red onions. Like that sounds so good. But I feel like that's more of a lunch thing. Honestly, so is that. Yeah, yeah, she's been under a lot of stress at home, but she'll be okay. Oh, or I can make this spinach artichoke ravioli. Ugh, I can't choose. Finished product. I added a few things to it. I added some vegan feta cheese and then I made like some homemade croutons just from bread to put in. These are the like seitan wings that I had. I have a bunch left over, so I'll probably use those in another salad. Honestly, I know this doesn't look really good, but it's 10 out of 10. Okay, who wants bonies? Is this not the cutest robe you have ever seen? Just making myself some tea. I'm officially obsessed. I'll show you guys my little tea recipe that I make every night. I am going, I was just about to say I'm going to bed. It's literally, okay, I just, I just looked at the clock and like had to check myself for a second. It's 8.45. This is like the coziness that I have going on in my house right now. I have pretty little wires on. I'm so out of touch. I need to go outside and touch grass, but it's literally, it's dark outside. We're like headed back, you know, the other way. So it feels like it's 10 o'clock. So anyway, let me, I'm going to. I'm gonna show you guys my tea recipe. Okay, a cute mug, absolutely required. I got this one from a flea market here in Tampa from this girl who makes pottery. Her name is Celine, I think. She like signs them all at the end, but how cute. But obviously hot water. And then nut pods. I only ever use the cinnamon swirl nut pods. I think it's the best flavor. And then I like chamomile tea. I honestly make this every night before I go to bed. And it's the perfect little nightcap, especially if you like something sweet at night. I feel like this hits the sweet tooth spot. Now, it's even better if you eat it like a cookie or something, but if you're trying to avoid that, then this is really good. Good morning, happy Friday. It is nine o'clock. I've been up for probably the last hour and a half. Um, made my matcha, which I'm just finishing up the rest of my matcha. I'm about to shower. I need to be at the clinic to do some injecting at 1045. Today and tomorrow are really just days where I am following the, not following, I'm gonna be with the um, head injector of the company and kind of do things with her. This is my first day in the clinic and I'm taking today and tomorrow to decide if this is something that I want to do. So this is not definitive in any means at this point in time. It's just something that I'm interested in and I asked for some shadowing days because I want to make sure that this is what I want to do and a direction I want to go in. So we're about to get ready for that. Running out the door, I almost forgot to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing that charm necklace that I got at um, a, what is it called? A flea market in Chattanooga. Cute little airy sweater, I'm obsessed. And then I just paired it with a tank top underneath because I like that like white poking out look. My high-waisted Livingston scrubs, my New Balances. I've got my breakfast, which is just some protein oats, macadamia nuts, apples, and then I drizzled some blueberry syrup over top of it because I thought that would look good. And I'm nervous, but I'm also excited, so let's go. Okay, you guys, it is about, I'm gonna say it's like two, almost 2.30. I'm headed over to another office location of the Aesthetics Place. This morning was super cool, super interesting. 
interesting. I just sat and talked to the boss for a while. She's not like the boss boss, but she's like the manager of all of the Tampa locations. And she was just kind of going over like what they, the amount of units they typically use, what they do, what they don't do, um, which is always interesting to hear. Like, um, like they don't do any like DAOs or Vitalis Botox because of like the risk of essentially hitting the muscle underneath of it and causing like a facial paralysis and messing up your um, your smile. Um, and so the, if they're ever like enhancing the the chin, then they will do filler. Um, so she was just kind of like going over that type of stuff. Again, this is just like today and tomorrow, really just for me to decide, is this what I want to do? And if it's not what I want to do, then I can walk away and say no. Um, as of right now, I feel like I'm leaning towards yes, but I still want some more information as far as how many days a week would I start at? Um, and I need to know. So like this is 100%, like I'm being fully transparent with you, this is 100% commission based. Um, and I would be like a 1099 employee, meaning that um, this would like, I'm not, I don't, I don't, if you don't know what a 1099, 1099 employee is, you're like an independent contractor essentially. And so it would be commission based. The commission is really good. But if I'm going to leave my job, current job for a day, I need to make sure that I'm making enough money to, you know, make up for that. Um, because I'm very comfortable sitting at where I am and I don't want to like go backwards, if that makes sense. You know, sometimes I understand taking a risk to improve outcomes in the future. But anyway, today, you guys don't care about that stuff. Today I saw, like we did, I didn't do anything. I'm just watching today. So Botox, uh, I saw cheek filler. I saw chin filler, lip filler, which is so painful. I just, I, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, cheek filler, chin filler, lip filler, and then she did a cannula for the chin filler, so that was super interesting. I got to see that, and yeah, like, it's so cool. It's really an art. It really takes, like, a keen eye, which I feel like I do have that eye, so I don't know. I'm excited. Obviously, guys, let me know what you think. You know, I'm always open to you guys' suggestions, but um, yeah, I'm enjoyed my day so far back home i am so tired i feel like i could take a nap i ate watched some pretty little liars and now i am like jumping into education mode um, i have a juvederm so we use juvederm and then we use disport fillers products but so i'm just focusing on juvederm stuff right now because there's a lot there's six different products you can use for fillers and there's oh my god i almost just murdered myself did you guys see that holy crap i almost literally just stabbed myself in the stomach so I ordered a book. Um, I listened to, I don't know if I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I said this on the vlog, but I listened to Gary V's podcast yesterday, or not Gary V's, um, what are they called? The Skinny Confidentials podcast yesterday with Gary V, and I absolutely loved it, and I, I know of him, but anyway, I was just inspired to buy his book, so I just got that in the mail. I'll show you guys what I'm learning. Okay, I also just cracked open a poppy to go with my <laughs> other waters here. But basically, my injector trainer got me this book, this Juvederm book, and it talks about all um, of the different products and what they're used for. And right now, I'm just going through this book, and every time I get to a new product, I am looking up videos on YouTube about how to inject them. Now, obviously, that's a little bit informal. She is going to get me... Um, access to Allergan owns Ju Juvederm so she's gonna get me access to like the actual training website where I can take the videos and then tomorrow I'm going back in to train with her and do some model training but I just I like I want to be prepared I don't want to not know anything so I did cheek which cheek filler is actually super interesting and I saw it today um I don't want to say it's not that hard because obviously like everything is about technique and the way that you do it but cheek um filler can you go down to the bone unless you're doing it on a cannula and it's pretty easy to feel your um your zygomas 
which is like the bone that you inject on top of so cheek filler is like it doesn't feel like it's that hard right now and then i also saw chin filler today so i'm about to watch a video on chin filler Thank you. 